Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Garnier logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. <laughs> So I have this logo file over here in Photoshop. Now we want each and every alphabet on the separate layer. So specifically for this logo, first thing we need to do, we will select this logo and then we will go to the select and we will choose color range. And then I'm going to pick up this color and increase the fuzziness to up around 80 and hit OK. Then press I on your keyboard and select this color create a new layer and hold alt backspace to apply this color and hit ctrl d to deselect it so now we have this alphabets on the separate layer now we don't want this much so i'm gonna either delete it or hide it but we will keep it as it is and now we want each and every alphabet on the separate layer so i'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and then we will select each and every alphabet but if you see as you guys can see we cannot select the whole g with the help of this tool so for that what we can do we will press l on your keyboard to select a lasso tool and with the help of that we will select this g first then we will hit ctrl x to cut it out we will create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place and same procedure we will follow for all of them i'll select this a i'll hit ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and i'll hide this then again i'm going to select this layer and we will follow the same procedure for this one okay so all of these alphabets are on the separate layer and we have this logo over here now i have this leaf photoshop file over here i got this image from free pick link is available in the description i mean in description so you can do check it out later and out of all of them i want this leaf only so i'm gonna select this much portion first and i'll hit ctrl x i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v and i'm gonna delete these things let's select this press v for selection tool let's bring this over here and press e to select your magic eraser tool you can simply click over here and the third option is magic eraser tool and we will delete this wire white background then select this page adjust it at proper position and save this file as a photoshop file like this now we will go to the adobe after effects and we will create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action press ctrl i on your keyboard to select your photoshop files first i'll select this uh, leaf photoshop file i'll choose footage only because we have only one layer over here and simply hit ok let's double click to open this and as you guys can see we have one leaf photoshop file over here i'll simply hit ctrl c to copy i'll go to the main animation and i'll hit ctrl v and let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically zoom in press s for scaling option and we will scale the size of it like this okay let's make this proper 20 like this now select this press p for position let's create one keyframe and then let's go to around up to four seconds and create another keyframe go to the start and let's move this over here like this now right click new and create one null object select this thing and make it apparent with this null one then select this null one press r for rotation let's create one keyframe go over here and let's make it to one complete rotation so if i see i'll get this kind of stuff now select those keyframe and hit f9 again let's go to the over here and instead of one let's make the two complete resolu revolutions so we will get something like this also select this leaf press r for rotation let's create one keyframe go over here and let's make it four and select those keyframe and hit f9 
so along with this animation we will get the rotation animation for our this one also and now i'm gonna hit you so reveal all the keyframes i'm gonna select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm gonna move this handle over here so if i hit play i'll get something like this okay and let's choose one resolution for one revolution for this nail object and now let's see how does it get i think one resolution could be re revolution should be good and instead of four rotation let's choose two rotations only press s and increase the scale of this little bit press r and we will rotate it like this okay so now if i see this i'll get this kind of animation let's go to the start select this press p and let's move this outwards like this now see enable the motion blur for this one like this go to the start press s create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's increase the scale of this leaf and hit f9 like this okay and hit u now go to the shape options and choose ellipse and we will create one ellipse like this this is gonna act as a mark so press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this press enter and let's call it as mask and hit ok select this null object and photoshop file press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as leaf one and hit ok like this so at this point i'm gonna select this leaf and i'll press ctrl shift d or let's hit ctrl z let's go few frame forward somewhere around over here and now press ctrl shift d now select this press f4 and make it alpha mask select this mask press s and increase the scale until it's gonna co cover entire leaf then create one keyframe over here go over here and now decrease the size of this ellipse until we will get this kind of circle now select those keyframes and hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm gonna move this handle over here so if i see i'll get something like this okay so this is our leaf animation now uh, let's go to this composition again we will again select this and we will hit ctrl c we'll go to the main animation and we'll hit ctrl v again go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and let's scale it like this then press p right click and choose separate dimensions and initially x position should be here create one keyframe over here go to around let's say four second and press v and let's move this over here go to the start create one keyframe at y position but move this downwards create one keyframe go to around one second move this over here go to two seconds let's move this over here again go over here let's move this over here and go over here and let's bring this totally downwards and select those y keyframes and hit f9 so if i see i'll get this kind of animation now select this leaf press r for rotation let's create one keyframe hit u go to the last keyframe and make three complete revolution select those keyframes and hit f9 so we will get this kind of rotating animation for that leaf now select all the keyframes and by holding alt i'm gonna move them up to two seconds and let's see we will get this kind of leaf animation let's move to three frames and press f4 and enable the motion blur like this okay hit you now select this press ctrl shift c and let's call it as leaf 2 and move all attributes into the new composition like this now select this leaf hit ctrl d and let's move this over here backward press s and let's increase the scale of it like this now right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this by holding alt sorry but before that select this and hit ctrl d and by holding alt i am gonna replace it with this three double click to open this select this hit u at this point i am gonna move this key position of this one over here this one over here this one over here and at this point this should be over here 
so now let's go to the main animation and we will get this alternation for this then select this leaf 2 hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 and let's move this over here like this okay so we'll get something like this then again so select this leaf 3 hit ctrl d and we'll bring this leaf 4 over here double click to open this select this press s and let's make the scale to 4 so this is gonna be act like as a small leaf and you can bring them over here double click to open this ATO select all the keyframes and we will increase the distance of the animation keyframes like this okay now this all of these are floating leaves so i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c i'll call it as floating leaves and hit ok and this is gonna be my main leaf animation so i'll call it as main leaf like this and now we will bring our main logo file which is this one and composition return layers and sizes and i'll hit import and hit ok double click to open this we will select all this alphabet and we will press ctrl c to copy and hit ctrl v right click new and create one null object select all the photoshop layers make it apparent with this null tool select this press s and scale it like this and now we have to do adjustments like this g should be at the center of it so let's adjust it properly like this okay as you guys can see if i see this one we have a little bit of remaining over here but we can adjust that later right now this is how our logo should gonna look like this as you guys can see this a g and a is over here so we have to adjust it accordingly so select this null object again decrease the scale and we have to adjust it like our logo again let's make it 30 like this sorry let's make it 28 with the help of arrow keys i'm gonna go and adjust it okay so this is how it should be yep so now we have to do proper adjustment of this logo so now i'm gonna select this main leaf press p create one keyframe go to around six seconds and i'm gonna move this over here let's select this null object sorry and press p and let's move this over here like this let's select this okay so now this logo is proper now i'm gonna select this main leaf i'll hit f9 and then i'm going to go over here to the graph editor and by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and select all of this alphabets now we don't need that null object so let's delete that select all of this alphabets i'll move the, the what we call this timeline over here with the help of open bracket press p for position let's create one keyframe then press t for opacity create another keyframe go over here again create one keyframe at the opacity then p a uh, one keyframe at the position go over here let's move this over here then press t and let's make it zero like this and hit u now select both the all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift to move this handle over here and move this handle over here so we get something like this now select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre compose this i'll call it as text and hit ok and hold alt and open bracket now let's go inside this comp now our first text is over here so i'll go to the start i'll hit page down button two times i'll select this a and move this over here and i'll follow this procedure for all of these alphabets like this okay so i'll get this kind of stuff now at this point which means at the last point i'm gonna select this text and i'll make it apparent with this main leaf so now if i see this i'll get this kind of animation 
so if i see this animation from the start first i'll get something like this and then like this i will double click to open this select all of them and enable motion blur like this now select this main leaf if you see properly over here this is quite a light in color and this is a little bit of darker version so let's go to the effect and presets panel and we have to apply brightness and contrast effect on it so simply double click and i'm gonna increase the brightness of this leaf okay so if i see this i'm gonna get this kind of animation first and if you want you can go over here you can create one keyframe at the brightness over here hit you go over here create another keyframe and at this point it should be zero select those keyframe and hit f9 so it's gonna increase its brightness later so first we will get something like this and then this now press ctrl y on your keyboard to create a solid white color and hit ok and let's bring this downwards and we'll lock this layer now right click new and create one adjustment layer and we will apply cc lens effect on it no sorry uh, not cc lens but let's lens flare like this so we'll get this kind of lens flare effect over here so let's see this thing now with the help of this effect we will get a little bit of lens flare effect you can increase the brightness of it like that now initially let's create one key lens flare over here and create one keyframe at the flare center hit u so we can see this properly and at this point i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna move this over here so we will with that we will get this animation of the lens flare over here like this and at this point i want this should so us to stop then let's create one keyframe out opacity let's go and make it zero so let's see first we have over here and then at this point i want again this animation so i'll press ctrl alt y again and again i'll move this thing over here and i'll apply lens flare effect and now i'm gonna move this anchor point over here let's create one keyframe at the flare center hit you and let's go somewhere around over here and let's move this heat point from here to here then let's go to the start initially let's create one keyframe at the brightness and hit u again initially let's make it zero let's go few frame forward let's make this 150 or let's say 100 only then at this point i'll create another keyframe go over here and let's make this zero select those keyframe and hit f9 and now if i see my full animation i'll get something like this and then this animation and then i'm gonna hit n so this is gonna be my final output for this garnier logo reveal animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned